In Istanbul, the city's story is written on its recipes. From shepherds and traders to sultans and chefs, a culinary tour of the city takes us on a journey through the region's history. Istanbul sits at the crossroads of east and west. Its history has been influenced by Turks, Romans, Greeks, Persians, Arabs, and many more. And maybe nowhere is that history more evident than in its food. Here, meals don't just fill you up, they also tell a story. For an insider's account, I'm turning to Gonja Karakoc. She's an Istanbul expert from Culinary Backstreets, a company that offers tours of city eateries. Our first stop is for a bite of a Turkish classic, the kebab. Kebab. It's probably started when human beings start to, to cook with fire and uh, since then it has evolved and it's not only particular to Turkish cuisine. There are hundreds of kebabs and each region in Turkey has its own, uh, own kebab. As you can see, this one is horizontal. It's even older than the Döner kebab, which is vertical and was invented later. Can we try some? You should, you must. Özcan Bey, bir parça alabilir miyiz? Careful, it's very hot. You like it? Quite good. But Istanbul has a lot more to offer than the kebab. Chig kofte, which means raw meatball, is usually served as an appetizer. It can be found all over Istanbul at food stands that become informal gathering spots. The chig kofte we're trying today is vegetarian, made with bulgur, chopped onion, tomato and pepper paste, spices, and a healthy dose of lemon juice. The raw meat versions have been outlawed. Our next stop shows that pizza isn't just from Italy. No basil, mozzarella, or tomato sauce is necessary at this restaurant a few blocks from the Grand Bazaar. Pide might not be as well known as its circular Italian cousin, but it has a long social tradition in Turkey. It's not a street food necessarily, uh, you eat it in a restaurant, but it's something that you wouldn't be able to do in your home because you need a special oven. In the countryside, women on certain days come together, they have common ovens, they knead it together, they, uh, they work together, they bake together the bread or the pide, and then they share. The origins of pide in Turkey are unclear, but that's not a problem at our next stop. It's one of Turkey's most popular kebabs. The version from Adana in the country's south features lamb chunks and minced meat on skewers. It's often served in a communal fashion due to its history. On the weekends, families would often eat outdoors, and the man of the house would give his wife a break from all the cooking she did during the week. Some families in rural areas still follow that tradition. But the Adana kebab can also be found at restaurants all over Istanbul. Another reminder of the city's varied menu. Istanbul is, think of a huge cauldron for many different cultures all throughout history. Uh, came together, together intermingled mingled with each other and each left its legacy. It's a legacy well worth savoring.